Hello and welcome to Mr. Clicks Flicks. I'm your host as always, Mr. Clicks, working every day to bring you the best Hero Clicks channel available on YouTube. And today is a very exciting day, Hero Clicks fans. We are going to be unboxing the brand new, and I can't believe I'm saying this, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hero Clicks set. Um, I've been super stoked about this ever since I found out last year at Worlds that they were coming out with this. And for years, I know a lot of other people besides just me have wanted this kind of a set to come out. So hopefully it sells out and we get more sets. We know there's a Wave 2 coming, I think in August, I'm not sure. But speaking of uh, sets coming out, we'd like to thank uh, the sponsor for this video, All Star Comics. Uh, go ahead and uh, check them out on Facebook. I'm going to annotate it uh, below in this video. They have continued to support our channel ever since they came into existence. Uh, they, they always send us extra product to unbox for you guys because I like to unbox a whole case because I feel like that gives a better view than just a brick or a gravity feed. So go support them. By far the lowest prices you're going to find even after shipping. So go over there, uh, support them and all they do. Uh, thank you All Star Comics for supporting Mr. Clicks Flicks. Alright, so... Uh, like I said, we have a whole case to unbox, which is two gravity feeds. I just pulled some out uh, of this one gravity feed just to get a, a shot of them. Um, according to early reports, you should get one super rare or one super rare and one chase in each gravity feed. So between this case, we should get two super rares and one chase figure. So we are going to see how that holds up. Helping me again today, like you did in the last video, is going to be Sam, young Mr. Clicks Flicks, who just turned two years old, so we're going to see how he handles this. He has been super excited about this set too, and I'm not quite sure. Other than that, uh, the, the new Nickelodeon show is quickly becoming one of his favorites. So let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, as far as favorites, you know, like what I'm looking for to pull in this set like I do, you know, at every unboxing, I don't really have something that I'm super looking for. This is the first set in a very long time. I want to just collect the whole set. Um, now, if you're telling me like I can only have one, it's going to be Krang, just because he's going to be so good. Um, uh, and then, you know, after that, the chase figures are just cool. So I'm just excited about every figure in the set, if I'm honest. So let's go ahead and just start tearing in and enough of me blabbing. Um, I believe there's 24 packs in a uh, set. So we'll go ahead and see what we got. First up, we got Casey Jones. This is a, an uncommon figure. And I'm not sure how many rares you get in this. I think you maybe get three rares in a gravity feed, so we'll see. Next one is Krang, super rare. Sweet. So good with that molecular, uh, molecular amplification chip. And then the, uh, oh, what's that? Uh, Shape-shifting hands is also so good. Uh, I'll do that's going to be in a uh, team spirit video for sure. Uh, a team for him. So, this is the next one that young Mr. Clicks Flick Sam picked out. So, that should be our super rare for this, uh, unless we pull a chase. So, we'll see. All right, we've got a splinter, uncommon. Yep. We've got Leatherhead. And I just got to say, too, the sculpts on this set are a lot better than the last couple sets. Um, just I don't know if it's because of the small set or if I'm just excited about turtles. I mean, the the um, four common turtles are a little bit static in their poses. But, I mean, other than that, I, I think all the sculpts in this set are really good. All right, we have a... Foot Soldier Chain Comma. Uh, this, I think, is the only Foot Soldier with range. Uh, all of them, I think, have the same stats and the same point value. Uh, just a little bit different. They're, they're pretty much set up to reflect what each turtle can do. So, let's go ahead and pull some more of these guys out. Alright. What do we got on this one? It is... A, another foot soldier, foot soldier katana, and I saw some people unboxing these. It looks like you get a ton of foot soldiers in a, in a gravity feed, which is good. You know, it's, it would suck if you only got like three foot soldiers in a whole gravity feed and you were trying to, you know, build an army of them. 
Then we've got our first turtle, Michelangelo. This is the common one. And this guy is legit. For 50 points, that pseudo um, uh, flurry with uh, sort of end cap is so legit for 50 points. Uh, I will break myself trying to make Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles meta. Alright, our first rare is the Raphael from the TV show. Uh, these ones, the uh, the current TV show, these ones are 60 points, and then the uh, Image Comics ones are 50 points. So you'll be able to build uh, some pretty good teams with these guys. You'll have, you know, teams of four, five, six guys on, no problem. Next up, we have Slash uh, with the Mutanimals keyword, so that'll be cool to see uh, how those go. Yeah. And let's see. we've got Foot Soldier Psy. Cool. I'm pretty excited about the Foot Soldiers too, aren't you? Foot Soldier Bow Staff. Okay. And then these guys are cool because uh, if they're like Donatello, they have giant reach. Uh, this one has giant reach too. So that's pretty cool in a set with really limited ranges. Um, which, I mean, this set should be, but, you know, a little bit of range is always nice to see, even if it's only two, three, four. Uh, Foot Soldier, Nunchaku. That's another one. How many Foot Soldiers does that make? One, two, three, four in the gravity feed so far. Uh make that five foot soldier chain comma that's another one of those let's see here let's just empty out the rest of this crap so many figures Sorry about the camera bump, guys. All right, so let's get a look out here. We've got Michelangelo. Again, like I said, so, so good for 50 points. So far, not too many doubles, which is exciting. You know, other than the foot soldiers, which is what you want doubles of. Mouser. Uh, this is the common one. Uh, these guys are pretty good, especially for only 20 points. And then if you get the super rare um, Baxter Stoffin, where you can you know, carry four of them, makes them pretty nice. We got Nobody, uh, Police TMNT Alloy, Ally, 45 points. Kind of hard to argue with 45 point figure, even if he's... Sorry about so many camera bumps, guys. Even if he's not that great. All right, we got Metalhead, who I believe this is represented from the current TV show, but he looks like the old action figure I used to have, so cool there. Um, 100 points, Robot, one of the few figures in this set with Indomitable. All right, and that, is he rare? No, he's uncommon, so we pulled one rare so far. That's yeah, super rare. April O'Neil, which is also rare. Cool. And she is only 30 points. So I have to look at that. We have the Shredder. Ah, oh, so happy I got him. Uh, rare, 80 points. Excited about this. I'm just going to play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles till they tell me I'm not allowed to anymore. For modern age, I think. Let's see what else we got. We have Donatello, the common. So, again, all these common turtles are really good for, for the points. Um, you know, I don't, you know, are they going to win worlds? Uh, probably not, but they're still pretty good. Alpha 1, 
Uh, this is the unique foot soldier. Well, I don't know that he's unique, but the named one anyway. So, Alpha 1. He's an uncommon. He's got... Leonardo. So, I think we might just be missing Raphael from the original four. And I think this is the last one. Yep. Mouser Swarm. Uh, this is a rare. So it looks like we got three rares and a super rare in our gravity feed. So that's not bad. All right, guys. I'm going to clean this up. Uh, pause the video, clean this up, and then get ready to open the second gravity feed. All right, feed. guys. Welcome back. Um, so while I was cleaning up, I realized that I did miss one in my unboxing uh, amongst the uh, garbage. So let's see what we got here. And it is the Common Raphael. So with that, I did end up getting a uh, full set of the Common Turtles in that gravity feed. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other gravity feed that we got here. Let's pull some of these guys out so we're not waiting all day. So it looks like I should get, since this was a sealed case, I should end up getting a Super Rare, three Rares, and a uh, Chase figure out of this. So, we'll see how that uh, coalition holds up, or coalition, however you want to say it. Alright, first pack is Common Donatello. Alright, so that was the first pack, Common Donatello. Second pack, coming right up. A second Common Donatello. Seems like you get two of the... Uh, Commons like you get a repeat of one. I think the last one was uh, double a Mikey. So, all right. So there's that one. Let's see what we got here. We have. If I can get it out of the package. It's a common Michelangelo anyway. Michelangelo, the common one. Still really good. Check out this pack. Number one, so it's got to be a turtle. Raphael. You got to know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. Yeah, Sam's excited about that one. I think I let him watch that movie. I think I ought to let him sit down and watch it. All right, got a second to common Raphael. So I think there's more repeats in this box than the last one, but still doing okay. Looking for some more foot soldiers. Maybe some people we haven't seen yet. Foot soldier, sigh. So that's nice. Like I said, I want to, you know, get at least ten foot soldiers. That way I can do three hundred points of uh, them. So we'll see. Number thirteen, the uncommon Baxter Stockman, and his very best friend is Justin Saford. Um, just look at how those two synergize together with any robot. And it's super easy to put together that, that these two are a match made in here at Click 7. Uh, just so good. Even within the set, he's good. Um, but I'm going to be using that one a lot just in, in other games, too. Alright, we have Carmen Leonardo. I've seen that one. So, trying to go a little bit faster here on the ones where you know, we've already pulled them. Ah. Uh, Foot Soldier Katana. So, there's that. I think I've gotten most of the Foot Soldiers except for the one that has empty hands. Um, soldier, uh, Foot Soldier Bow Staff. We've got a rare, a second shredder. Okay, well that'll be real tradable. Super excited to get another one of those. Uh, let's see what else we got. We've got foot soldier Ninchaku. We've got. I think I should have two more rares. There's maybe one more after this. Monstrex, and he is a rare. So he's got Frankenstein and a werewolf head. Pretty cool. 
Um, I went to a pre-release a uh, couple, or oh, yesterday, and uh, so I saw some of these played already. They're pretty cool. All right, we got a Mouser. So I think that's only the second one of them. Those seem like they're a lot harder to pull than the uh, Foot Soldiers. Um, like I said at that pre-release event, I didn't see a lot of those guys pulled either. Just mostly uh, Foot Soldiers. Uh, Slash. So another one of those. We've got another Leatherhead. Uh, he's just so big and fantastic too. Alright, so I'm still looking for that super rare, and I should have two more rares. So, we've got another metal head. We've got another Casey Jones. And I think there's only 35 figures in this set, so with two gravity feeds, you're going to have a lot of. Overlap. Let's see here. Another splinter. A foot soldier chain comma. Getting kind of down here. I'm starting to get nervous. These these better be two two rares, a super rare, and a chase, or else my uh, you know, what they put in here was a little off. Alpha 1, okay, so he's uncommon. Maybe maybe the chase figure takes the place of one of the um, rares. That makes sense, because Wizards likes to do that. April O'Neil, so another rare there. We've got a chase figure, Michelangelo. These guys look sweet. Here, I'll take them out. At first, I didn't care for how they looked, but um, once I got one in hand and looked at it up close, they they look really good. Um, I like the the nod to the comics. So really, they're and they're they're pretty good. Um, you know, are you going to see them at Worlds? Probably not. But in a casual game, they're going to be good. All right, and last one. Fingers crossed for a super rare. It is. And it is super rare Donatello. Alright guys, so that is the unboxing for Heroclix Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I still can't believe I'm saying that. Um, as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. So that you can be one of the first to view my Heroclix videos as they become available. And also please remember to stop over at Facebook, like All Star Comics and Games on their page. And, you know, throw them some business if you uh, think you can do that for them. Like I said, best prices out there. And as always, please remember that it's only a critical miss if you don't have probability control.